The winters were hard. The battles with the horse soldiers cost many warriors their lives, and little time was left for the hunt. Women and children went hungry. The white men started making peace with many tribes, giving them food and gifts in return. They even wanted to smoke the peace pipe with the Sioux, and many warriors were tired of all the fighting. But the pale faces spoke with forked tongues. They wanted safe passage through our lands. But before the negotiations were even over, they sent soldiers to build a chain of forts along the Bozeman Trail. The white man helped himself to what he wanted without waiting for what the red man had to say. Yet we still had some brave warriors who preferred death in battle to starvation. Red Cloud broke off negotiations and gathered together warriors from many tribes to cut off the Bozeman Trail and prevent the white men from building their forts. The whites were stupid. They built Fort Phil Kearney far from the forest and had to haul the wood they needed for construction over long distances. We stole horses from the white men and formed alliances with other tribes to arm ourselves with many guns against the pale faces. The only way to prevent the whites from building their fort would be to cut the soldiers off from their supplies. Welcome back to America, No Peace Beyond the Line, and welcome to the third scenario for the Native Americans. And here we go. In this mission here, our first goal is to protect our allies in the south. And afterwards, once we give them 15 horses, they're going to give us 15 riflemen. Not just rifles, but actual riflemen. I'm not quite sure why they don't use those for the defense, but they don't, so we have to defend them. But uh, that's, that's okay, I guess. Let's get going. So we'll have to do, protect them quite a bit. They will not protect themselves properly. They will build a handful of units, but for the most part, well, they will be completely useless while hoarding those riflemen. Anyway, f first order business is to construct a wood processing facility here. Uh, you can come north here. So we need a lot of lumber. We need to get our economy going. We also need to send... Firstly, let's get one, two, three, four more of you. We also need some... some more workers to... There we go. Some more workers to... Actually, you know what? You can unsettle here. Uh, actually, you cannot unsettle. We, we can unsettle once we build a, a coral here. So we can probably do some hunting at the beginning here before we get our fields up and running. So let's do that. But we don't want this, this horse here to escape, so we're just going to build the coral here first, which we need anyway for the animal processing facility. And then we're going to send one worker south to build some training teepees there because we want to make sure that we have... Uh, you know what? An old processing facility, let's get that up and running here. We want to make sure that we have enough warriors down there and we don't really want to rely on... Could you please... Hey! What are you... Hey! Hunt this! There we go, that's better. We don't want to just always send them south. That's it's just not very it's not a very reliable way of doing that. Anyway. You're going to do just that. You come down here. And you're down here, that's nice. So you can build me. <laughs> do I want a granary here? I do, but I also want uh, firstly I want a sleeping TP because we just ran out of pop. But that's okay. You guys, you guys should should be able to give me all the all the lumber I need. And yeah, we don't have enough living space. I know, I know. We're going to get to that. No worries. You can actually come down here too, just to boost the morale here. 
We have to defend our... Let's get a training TP here. We have to defend our um, uh, camp here as well. It won't be attacked that often, but it will be attacked eventually. So we can't rely on this one here. Just being safe while the other one here is being attacked. You construct that there, please. And then this guy here is going to get us some more food. We're going to get two more of you here for hunting purposes. That should be sufficient. And then you can start some agriculture here. Now we're probably going to get a bunch of fields and then again a bunch more training facilities and whatnot. And then we will have to get some horses, but we will. We have to start training some guys here rather soon. But we will do just that. You can help out here. By just doing some more hunting and you do some more agriculture here. You can build me another wood processing facility here once we have enough lumber for that, which we do not have right now. But that's okay. And you can also help here. Yeah, once once guys are busy gutting the buffalo here, you can actually not tell someone else to also do that. Okay, you just briefly stop here. And we're going to build another one here. It's only a little bit closer, but believe me, it actually does make a difference. And you can continue to work. I don't know why I interrupted that. You weren't really that much in the way. But whatever. Anyway. Now that this one here is good to go, we are going to get another sleeping TP because we're going to need a bunch of those. And then we're going to train a couple of you here. You have to protect this tent here throughout the entire mission. If Even uh, after you complete that objective, if it falls then, you're still going to lose. So try not to do that. It's not helpful. Let's get some more workers here. I do have a job for you. And yeah, you guys are still hunting. Nice, nice. I don't think... No, food doesn't decay here, so it's not. they're not like Age of Empires crocodiles. They're just, you just look at them and then they just disappear. Okay. There we go, and we can afford another field. There we go. And I think you can start getting me some gold here. Slowly but surely. And here we go. Get that final field. And then we can also get that agriculture. Oh, yeah, the shovel upgrade. And we can get the X2 upgrade here. It looks suspiciously like a saw, but it says X, so it has to be an X. And for the time being, you can just cut some more lumber here. Then we want one more of you, and we want... Uh, I think we want another training TP here, just to get these guys here pumped out a little bit faster. Which you could have thought that here, if we had indeed bother to you're going rather far here but that's okay you just you're more of a bonus here there we go and then let's get one two three more of you and more of you here the Americans will attack us with infantrymen. Infantrymen are a lot stronger than these guys. It's not like that's the basic unit. They cost rifles and they cost gold. So those guys are a lot better than anything we have. And yeah, this goes a lot faster. Now we've got all that juicy, juicy lumber. This is not terribly efficient, but I don't really care. This even disappears in the shroud, but that's okay. Yeah. Units actually do remember where the buffaloes are. Okay, can you please just get the buffalo? Thank you. It's, see, it's not that difficult. Let's get another animal processing facility here to speed that up just a little bit. And then we're going to get two more of you and some more of you guys here trained. Uh, let's get another TP here. This guy here is just here for morale. Awesome. You help out here, otherwise this takes forever. We could, we could get a... We probably want this upgrade here. So get even more lumber, even faster. But you also need more agriculture. Soon. Oh, this, this isn't finished yet, that explains why. 
Oh, so this guy went over here, but this guy went over there. So, um, interesting. Anyway. Let's just get some more some more TPs going here. And let's get that saw upgrade. And so, do we want this one here? I think we do. There we go. Let's get that one too. And then probably want more of you. We probably want one full troop here. Like 20 guys. That should be sufficient. You go on hold ground so you don't just get yourself killed. I can replace you because you're a generic chieftain. You're not a special one. But nevertheless, I don't want to sacrifice you right now. And what I should also get is the TP of the Elder, but we're going to get to that. In fact, I think I'm going to recruit a couple of you guys for gold mining temporarily. And you can build me the TP of the Elder. You're still hunting. Good, good. And you can help me out here as well. And let's get a couple more of you. I just need a certain amount of gold to get all my tech upgrades, but I don't need that much. Was it really faster to go from here to this tree than to this one here? Maybe it is. It's an isometric world, so what do I know? Anyway, let's get a granary here please, or second one more specifically. And then we can get a tech upgrade, defense upgrade, and we can get two levels of those which we will, and let's renew those fields. And let's get more fields. So we're going to run low on lumber soon, but that's okay. We're going to send some of these gold guys north soon. I don't really need six, I just wanted to quickly increase the amount of gold I have here to another 400. Yeah, after that it will, will be good. Everything else beyond that is a bonus, which we probably are not really going to need. So we are under attack. Oh, so here are, here are the Americans. Oh, there's more of them. So let's make sure we, that we kill them all. Hey, the infantryman who isn't on a horse. Don't you dare attack us or my allies. This guy is just chopping lumber like nothing bad is happening. And yeah, hardened arrowheads. And you can go back to chopping wood. Here we go, there we go. And you should also, you, you'll you also get some fields as soon as we get to that. And then a couple more of you, please. Someone give me some food, please. Looks like these, hey, there's another horse. Looks like these guys are done. That is fine with me. You can come... Actually, you cannot come down here. You'll... You'll stay here. And organize the defense of my... Position here. And more of you. Awesome. You're going to get me yet another training TP if I could afford that. And another field's empty. And then... Whoop. Don't have enough lumber, but we'll let, that's going to change soon. As soon as we have all the buildings we need and we only, we're only only going to renew fields and whatnot, this is going to go a lot faster. So, protective clothing, we're going to get that too. We don't really need more gold, I think, because I don't think we're going to build more, more rifle guys. They're not really worth the effort. So, let's just have you also cut me lumber. And, nope, still can't afford that. But we almost can. You can already... Well, I guess you can build me a granary. Another one, like here. And someone get me some food, please. Just one more haul of 15 units and everything's going to be fine. Thank you. Awesome. So, you should really strengthen the rank of, ranks of these guys here. But you're going to do that by getting even more agriculture going. Which you can easily afford here. And there we go. That's what I wanted. And here we are. Nice, nice. Two more workers. We're also going to get another training tent here. 
and these guys here now have uh, plus one bonus here, which if you if you attack is only only six, that's actually pretty decent. And we're also going to max out our pop soon with those two guys or gals, and everything's going to be great. Yeah, I don't think we really need more workers for anything. We can get more rifles, we can't buy them, but we could steal them. Uh, but we'll see about that, it's probably not really worth it. Let's maybe get two more of you. And then train a couple more of you. Don't know why I tried three in one tent and then only one in the other tent, that made no sense. But that's okay, you help me out here. And then we want some more defenders here as well. And we are actually going to build up an army here. And we're also going to build more sleeping TPs. There's a reason for that too. Okay, so one full troop will be ready here in the near future. Then we can focus on building up an army in the north. In the meantime, you just start your field work here. There we go, well done. We're going to build a ring of training TPC around our base that's going to distract the enemy and, uh, and makes them not rush it to our fields and just kill everyone because I don't want that. That's inconvenient. Even if it's not that big of a loss, it's just uh, just a lot of a hassle to renew all the fields, retrain all your workers, then send them to fields, and if they decay in the meantime, then you have to have to get them new fields and and cost lumber and then you have to wait for that it's just a lot of a, a lot of uh, a lot of work it's kind of just busy work it's nothing terribly interesting to do there we go okay so with the defense of this settlement here has been secured it's very unlikely that the americans are ever going to completely break through here let's just train two more guys then we have some magical 20 guys that are arbitrarily need to defend myself here. These guys are not building anything. They have one, they have two guys here. They might have had those from the start. I'm not even sure about that, but whatever. And yeah, you can just build some more of these TPs here to, to be precise, just to max out our pop. And more of you, please. Set more of you. There we go. All right. We should gather lumber fast enough now to not have to worry about renewing fields, especially now that we've built all the buildings we need to build. And... Granary, please. Awesome. Uh, you gave it a new group assignment and you just hang out here. We should be able to fend off all attacks now, especially now that we have our upgrades. 20% damage reduction and uh, plus one third damage output are actually pretty good. There we go, and you get yourself some fields. There we go. This should get us some decent... decent troops here soon. Uh, you can actually come down here. I don't want you to die. So you can just hang around here and and be ready to deliver horses, if that becomes necessary. Nice, nice, we've got a group of 10 here, a group of 10 here. Oh, yeah, we have indeed, I did not see that incorrectly. Uh, you're going to move out soon, so you can get me the first batch of horses. We need a second batch in the near future, but the first batch, the first batch will not quite do it, but there's some cowboys here who just hang out on the fields, boring cows and they they will kindly provide us with some horses also these guys here just don't really bother to attack us much but oh well not really my problem it's for the better probably more of you always more of you and let's keep an eye on the fields here so there's more gold here if you want to harvest that you probably don't want your guys to hurl it back so you can just get a gold warehouse and then have the Travoy transported back, but we're not going to bother with that right now. We're instead going to steal some cows. We're also going to attack these cowboys here who are just minding the cows. And we're not going to get the, the horses here killed 
preferably. But why are you why are you attacking the cow? Did I did I accidentally click on that? I probably did. Whatever. So don't don't do that, please. So we also we don't want to like spare arrows to. Oh hey, that was actually pretty good. Anyway, so let's get some horses here. And then we're going to steal your horse as well, if possible. The cowboys have no range. They also don't deal that much damage. They're, they're kind of the equivalent of our arrow. Arrow shooters, don't accidentally kill that and just hold your ground. There we go, and here we go. Then we're going to steal all those cows. And then we're going to, firstly, get can get some more of these uh yeah we need some more fields here some of these have disappeared completely already but that's totally okay and yeah so these guys here will now steal all the cows we can send those into the meat grinder and but you can also so we can't train cows other factions can but if you train a cow with let's say the mexicans or the americans and then you send them to the butcher or whatever meat building you have for us it's the animal processing building then they're going to be turned into meat and gold and if you let them graze longer so they become fatter they become more valuable and they can have a value of up to 25 okay so how many these guys are already, I already have I already have nine here that's pretty good not good enough but pretty good so we're going to send more of you over here but we also need to train more here and renew more fields there we go also going to get another training TP here because I can afford it actually can I I mean do have a decent you know what you just built me another wood processing facility here just to speed that up a little bit and yeah, you go into the meat grinder. There we go. And we got some gold for that as well, which we don't really need, but okay, I guess it's nice to have. So you join my guys over there. Yeah, we already have a decent amount of these. A field has been harvested. That's okay. You can actually work on this one here, so this one here doesn't disappear. So it's slightly less work for me. There we go, and you go back to your field. Did we? Yeah, we did get those upgrades. Nice, nice. This should get the... Oh, this isn't, this isn't even a troop of 10. Yeah, we want more of those, definitely. But we can build like 17 more units. That's good enough. You know, I'm still worried about the Americans attacking me here because they haven't really done that here and have the feeling... If I leave now, they're going to do exactly that, but okay. Anyway, don't have enough food. That's tragic. Let's just wait a little bit here. Many of these guys hang around here, but I don't really want those to use those for defense, because that just... Hmm. So I dismount here. Is that horse already going to disappear? No, so I think I have to deliver 15 horses at once. But that's okay. We're just going to max out our pop here and... Then we're going to leave maybe a token force here and then we're going to move out because I've got a plan. But more about that in a bit. So you move over here. Then we have nine guys left defending ourselves. That should be... Is that going to be sufficient? I wouldn't bet on it, but we can sure try. You know what, I'm going to withdraw a couple of guys from here because I don't think we need that many. We can always use these guys here as defenders. It's not ideal, but it's probably going to do the job. We're going to queue up a couple more if you do that. And even if you reach your pop limit, then there will be auto build once your other guys inevitably die. Which is going to happen sooner or later, believe me. So, here we go. good enough and yeah I think this will give me probably two two full troops oh yeah it will indeed 
that should be enough to get get something going here let's put it that way but first let's get over here you can return home because i don't really want a single guy just passive aggressively standing around there where everybody else is actually doing the job yeah the trees in this game here just drop frames like it's crazy as soon as you get over them the frame rate just just plummets i'm not quite sure why it feels random but anyway don't have enough living space but that's okay okay let's get in here so there's a bunch of horses here but they are defended by towers and riflemen stuff so we're probably going to lose 99 percent of these guys here just trying to get that because so first you kill these guys here because they are exposed and then you the good thing about the towers is that the towers can't run away so they have to stay in place and they will always get hit by the arrows so that's great then we're going to kill this other tower here there's a, there's yet another one we don't probably don't need to kill that but we're going to murder this one here but we're going to not going to go too far because otherwise we're going to attract the attention of the army here Hold ground and get over here. Awesome. So let's get you to get me more fields. And we lost 10 guys here, but that's totally fine. And... So we're going to set a small force over here. and just going to steal uh, some, force, some horses here. Oh, sn oh, snap. What the hell? Why is everybody suddenly... I mean, yeah, I, I just destroyed part of their camp. So it's totally justified that these guys are hanging around here. But anyway, at least a lot of these are cavalrymen. They're not that strong. The rifle guys are stronger. And I think the cavalrymen are also less sturdy. So they're better on horseback when they have a melee attack that actually cuts through everything pretty quickly. But it's a melee attack. So make that what you, as you, what you wish. Also, wh why, why is there so many of you all of a sudden? I don't like that. Anyway, let's focus fire properly here. Especially on the guy that isn't actually attacking us for some reason. Okay. Alright, so we have 10 guys left here. How many horses do we have here? We already have 5. Okay, so we only need 6 more horses. That's actually pretty good. So we're going to be conservative here. We're going to sneak in with some of these guys here and then just sneak in, steal a horse, and then just disappear like the wind. So. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they, they don't give any like non-historical natives here, stupid native names like oh, Night like, night Wolf or so, or Hawkeye. They're just Those just seem to be like like st stock native names. I don't know if there was ever any Native American who had that name, but yeah, certainly doesn't feel like it. Anyway, time to... So have they, have they even attacked here in the meantime? It doesn't look like it, does it? But anyway... Should not neglect these guys here. Yeah, we're not going to see confrontation with the entirety of the US Army here. We're just going to get those horses and then we're going to disappear. Nice, nice. So you get over here. And I think I might just take one for safety or so. Yeah, let's take one more just, just because. It doesn't seem to do anything between us and uh, the our allies camp. But you never know. So you guys here are just going to go back to base where I have a large army waiting and you guys here go down here. Then we're going to deliver them horses and yeah we probably yeah we lost lost all of our fields or well, not all of them but a number of fields even though we're going to well, we're probably not going to need that much more food are we? So there we go. Oh yeah, you want to we want to field as well. Awesome. So then we're going to have our chief withdraw. I guess I could have taken that horse as well, but it doesn't really matter. You need to get over here anyway. There's no other spot on the map where we can get all those horses as far as I know. So yeah, there's that. 
These guys are still not really bothering to attack us, but I'll take it. And damn, do we have a lot of food. And we have even more lumber. Ridiculous amounts of lumber, in fact. Awesome. So, so we have two extra guys here. I uh, may as well not utilize you for that then. Instead, this should be enough. And whoop. There we go. So we get 15 brave rifle shooters. Those are not only brave, but also a lot stronger. They have a base attack of 10 and 12 on horseback. Pretty good. And now we're going to seek out the advice of our allies to the north. Different allies. So we're going to take you guys here north. These guys are going to stay here because the Americans might still attack this, this base here. And if it falls, we're still going to lose. So we're not going to withdraw these guys here now. Instead, yeah, you are all going to go north here. And you're going to now go north as well. And then we're going to regroup here. So more agriculture, please. There we go. Oh yeah, you can actually go north already. And get some advice. In the meantime, we're going to gather our army in the south here. That shouldn't be a problem then. Yeah, don't try to invade this entire base. It doesn't get you anything. And they have our like, cannons and towers with multiple cannons in them and stuff. Alright, so we can set up a, a an ambush here, which we will. And to provoke them, we can destroy this, this outpost here, our general store. That's the reason why you were not supposed to destroy that earlier. Alright, has everyone arrived? It seems that seems to be the case. Awesome. So if you form group one. You form group two, and you're going to fo form group three, and I don't think I really need group four, to be honest. And that's the chief anyway. So there we go, here we go, and you are going to set up shop in the mountains here. You're going to come over here as well, and you guys, are the rest of you are going to destroy that. The general store there. And that's going to provoke a counterattack. The general store specifically, because Americans do not like their general stores to be destroyed. So now we also have we all we're over pop now because we received these extra rifle guys here, so that's pretty neat. Anyway. These guys are on a very intense patrol here. Oh, that's actually a dead end. Well never mind. Okay, fine, go, go down here. I'll, I'll babysit you through that. And we can go build spear guys, but we don't really need them. They cost gold, so then again, we're not spending the gold on anything else either. And we didn't even didn't even mine all the gold we had, did we? Pretty sure we did not. Nope, more than a thousand gold left here. But it's not terribly important in this mission here specifically. In later missions, yes, especially once you rely on gold units, you definitely want all the gold you can get. Field has been harvested. Not that we really need all that much food anymore. In fact, since we all pops maxed out and we've purchased all the upgrades we can get. Yes, not only we can't buy horses, there isn't much we can actually spend food on, but that's okay. So let's destroy that general store. And then we're just going to retreat because we don't actually need to destroy that tower. So... And then we're going to have these guys here also join the ambush. Okay, so Captain Fetterman needs to be destroyed. And before his troops and Fetterman himself reach our camp, it's not a problem. He's going to have some cavalry, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. We're just going to wait here and then murder. Oh, what was that? He just that just disappeared in the shroud. Okay, well, never mind. Let's come over here. And you're just going to stay around here and radiate your aura of moral support. And, oops, uh, here we go. Nice, nice. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even doing this. We don't really need that that much. Oh, hey, so it looks like our allies have some gold here as well, which they aren't mining. So I guess you can get that if you want to, because this is safe territory otherwise. 
Yeah, these guys also aren't building much, but they're better defended than these guys down here. We've built a whooping two archers. If they have even built those, they might have started with them. Have to do they, they do have a training TP. And surely they must... Great, they have four fields, but only three workers. Man, well, well played AI. I think that, that seems to be a very easy skirmish AI. Which doesn't really do anything. But to be honest, I think that's, that's actually fair if you have like one AI that, that doesn't do anything. So you can just essentially enjoy the game and try out units and whatnot. That's fair. So we're just going to hang around here and not do much until they actually attack. You do get some time until they attack and I think the idea behind... What are you guys doing? What are you even doing in this direct... What? You know what, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, you, you do your thing if you... If you whatever. Anyway, what I want to say is that I think very easy skirmish eyes. It's nice to just try things out. Even though I, it would be nice if these guys did a little more than just stand around here and try to defend their camp with a single arrow shooter. So now we just have to wait around here for a little bit. You can actually attack Fetterman earlier, but I think... I don't know if, he's, if he is in the camp. He might just spawn later. So maybe that's not possible. In any case... We have some time to set up an army, so we already have one because we want to want to attack attack these guys over here and just steal all their their horses here anyway. There's also a fort here, those are the literal blue blue coats. I would advise against against attacking them because they again have towers and cannons and whatnot. And taking them out probably takes hey there, you arrived a little bit late here, but that's okay. There we go. They've crossed the river. That's okay, we're just going to move a little bit forward here. And that's probably going to cost you more troops than you need to invest in just defending your allies. Anyway. Here we go. Just going to hang around here until they ambush us. Well, I said they ambush us. Until we ambush them. It's not really an ambush if you're just staying here, is it? And you know what? Don't care about the fields anymore. So let's just hang around here and not really do much else. I'm waiting. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Hey there, so that's Fetterman. Once he's dead, uh, all all his his troops are also going to lose their morale bonus. Yep, down to eighty percent. And ooh, what a massacre! Oh, that, that's actually quite a lot of guys, but man, they're just getting completely slaughtered here. Because the defender always wins. There we go. Everybody's dead. And a bunch of horses as well. Yeah, we have completely wiped them out, that's for sure. Oh, great, now you arrive here. Yep, we totally have won. Everybody's dead. Yeah, this mission here isn't terribly difficult. Just make sure you send enough troops to your allies because the first attack can come a little bit unexpected so yeah, they might get overrun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.